amigas. Thank you guys for joining me today. My name is Beverly for those that don't know me and for those that are returning, thank you guys so much for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to be testing out a sub sublimation paper, which I am super excited. Why? Because we will be actually sublimating on a 100% polyester t-shirt. Now, I know a lot of you guys have asked me in the past, like, how exactly do you sublimate on something? And I know my last video, I didn't really have a chance to sublimate, but we talked a little bit more about sublimation. So if you guys are interested in watching that video, make sure to check the description down below to click on that video and just learn everything that I know on sublimation. ASUB was very, very kind to send out this pack of paper which just a little backstory I've been using a sub for a while and let me just tell you it is one of the best sublimation papers out there that I know and that I truly like but these are all my opinions but you guys have to check it out for yourself so let's go ahead and get started also I did want to mention that if you are new here go ahead and subscribe and turn on that little bell to be notified every time I upload a video and give my video a big thumbs up it would help a lot okay jumping right into a sub so a lot of people always wonder like what is this paper what is it meant for so so it is just a special type of paper meant for sublimation only now I will go ahead and let you guys know that on the back of the paper there is several instructions on how to apply pressure what ink to use I'm um, also suggested temperatures down here for different things I will go ahead and read a little bit more on this paper so it says printer setting paper ink transfer time and temperature substrate all play a role in the color output before mass production please test to find the most suitable setting for you so it says ink is only compatible with sublimation ink like i mentioned um printer it also just says it's any regular desktop printer i would say that you're converting into sublimation um substrate only for light colored substrate images and hard surfaces must be coated so i would take that from what i have just read is that it's meant for fabrics like light colored fabrics that have like a polyester count in them or any type of uh, material or item out there that is especially coated for sublimation um, that is you know a white surface this would be good for machine professional heat presses and machines are recommended home irons are not suitable so with sublimation I will say you have to have it at a high temperature a good amount of pressure um, to get it you know to transfer properly uh, for the most part I know I use 400 at 60 seconds but it all depends what you're working with and whatever your paper recommends so make sure you check out the description for more information also a big big thing that I will go ahead and mention before we get started and jump into this video is that a very very important step is to make sure your image is mirrored a lot of people always wonder like why mirrored why mirrored the reason why you have to mirror is because you have your image here and you're flipping it over onto the shirt so when you put it on the shirt it doesn't look reversed if that makes sense so every time and depending on any software that you're using always make sure to hit mirror mode when printing out or if you're printing straight from your computer you can just use the mirror setting and best quality or whatever setting you would prefer to use and then go ahead and press on your shirt so it says tips please use mirror printing and print on the blank side of course the back side is very different it does say a sub on it which i will show you guys here in a minute um it says let the image face to substrates um it's better to finish sublimation and see the color result before change any setting because color on the printed sublimation may be look dull but the sublimation color will be vivid that's also another cool thing about this so a lot of people think that maybe when you're printing with sublimation you're like why is this so faded you have to keep in mind that when you actually press your image onto your canvas or onto your blank of choice it is actually going to be more vibrant or at least it should be please don't leave fingerprints on the printing side before or just a moment after printing to avoid affecting the printing effect please keep unused paper in the original packaging I can't stress this enough whenever people are starting and they're like, hey, why is my paper, you know, um, not working? Why is it, you know, look like it's like warped and everything? So a good tip that I learned, and please, again, if this is something that you guys have tips on, make sure to leave them kindly in the comments down below. But a lot of people have reached out to me and asked me that. And I always like mention, you know what, leaving your original packaging, there's people that like to make it look pretty, that they like to have it kind of like, you know, in a little organizer um, where they have the regular copy paper and then they have one for sublimation paper but the thing is that this paper should not collect any moisture any dust any of that so I highly highly suggest just like 
ASAP does on their back of their packages to leave in the original packaging because you don't want anything to affect your paper and the time of printing and pressing and then affect the quality of the actual product. Avoid storing in high temperature, wet, heavy, and direct sunlight. If you haven't used this paper before, please practice on some scrap fabric before committing to your best t-shirt. That is honestly the same advice that I would give to you guys. If you guys are starting out with sublimation and you guys are just curious to see how it works, another great tip is to just go ahead, go to your local fabric store, grab yourself like a yard of polyester fabric of any kind as long as it has, you know, full-on polyester in it. Try it out for yourself. Now, I will mention we are going to be sublimating a t-shirt today, of course, and there is several types of fabric that are polyester and they feel different or might look a little bit different, but for for the most part if you have a light colored fabric or a white it's preferred now something with more polyester the more vibrancy your image is going to have all right with that being said let's go ahead and get to sublimating all right so let's go ahead and jump into some of the materials that we'll need for today's project first thing is that i'm going to need some heat resistant tape this just really helps to kind of make sure your image is down where you need it and so it does not move on you next thing i will say is suggested but not needed fully if you don't have it available is just a t-shirt ruler so you are able to measure and see how far down you need to go and to make sure it's centered but there is also other ways to do so next is our lint roller you will need a lint roller just to make sure all the lint is off of your shirt of course you'll need your blank of choice so here I do have two of them as you can see here this is a light gray color from Port and Company it's a hundred percent polyester dry fit t-shirt and here is a white one that I wanted to show you guys as well this is a white same dry fit 100% polyester which we'll go ahead and use the white today for our project next is your butcher paper you can't forget this this is very needed just to make sure any bleed that goes over won't actually touch your heat press or ruin the back of the shirt or middle so I like to use the butcher paper as well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull another strip off of it off of my uh, butcher paper dispenser and just kind of pull up and here it is and by the way my butcher paper dispenser has been so so helpful i highly highly recommend if you guys are in need of one that way you don't have to pull it out every single time or just cut it with scissors so this one is from uline is also linked down in the description and last but not least we cannot forget the star of the show it is our asap sublimation paper now i will say something that i forgot to mention at the beginning that this is the eight and a half by 11 paper that i'm using and that's 125 grams and it's the gold and red packaging for this paper I will say it's suggested you purchase straight off their website to save 12% off you guys can use my code Beverly Garcia 94 to save yourself some money but that being said you also want to make sure you have your sublimation printer ready to go and your image of choice as you guys can see here I chose this one I got it off of Etsy and I also forgot to mention as we speak my heat press is heating up in the background for 400 degrees at 60 seconds <laughs> you guys so jumping straight in this is my image that I chose off of Etsy like I had mentioned so you do want to make sure you are clicking on it I went ahead and just downloaded it and saved it to my computer and then here it is it's showing as a PNG image so first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is hit file then go down to print now I will say this could be a little bit different from Windows computer but somewhat similar at the same time if that makes sense make sure your printer of choice is selected mine is the Epson EcoTank 2720 because that's the one that I had converted to sublimation as you might already know I have it down to eight and a half by 11 inches already and here are just some tips to make sure that you are able to scale it all the way through so you can hit fill entire paper and you will see that it is cut off and it does have a slight border around it so you might want to print entire image and or maybe scale it instead of having to fill entire image just so you can make sure you can get it up until where you want it so I'm gonna make sure just to play around with the percentage here but you can already see that the S is being cut off so I think 38% is probably the biggest that we can go on this and that should be perfectly fine um, next I'm gonna go ahead and go into preview and just under preview I'm gonna go to print settings from print settings you want to make sure these are the settings that you have or at least something similar these are mine of my preference when using ASAP paper I like to use premium presentation paper mat and high quality it's always good to have high quality whenever you're printing anything just to make sure the image quality is really really nice and of course make sure you have your image mirrored and then hit print <laughs> my shirt 
t-shirt prepped and ready to go it's laid out like i mentioned this is the 100 polyester from port and company it is a dry fit t-shirt and now this is how my sublimation image turned out i think it came out super cute just remember that the colors are going to look a little bit more faded but when you actually press you guys are going to see how bomb this paper quality is like you guys are going to love it so a tip that i did learn just to not get the harsh imprints on your shirt because you are pressing you know for the 60 seconds was just to kind of tear off your edges now this tip could be used now it is not necessary you guys can literally just cut it with scissors you do have to be a little bit careful with this when you guys are doing it this way but i think it is a really cool tip that actually has worked for me and has helped me like keep those imprints off of my shirts so let me go ahead and just finish this and once i'm done i'll be back take my lint roller just lint roll the areas that i will be applying my image to just to make sure there is no fuzziness no crazy business going on here just really really get in there and lint roll and i do have a clean sheet on there so there's that okay i'm gonna go ahead and just spread my shirt out make sure everything is looking good taking my t-shirt really which is super handy i'm just gonna line it up there to the collar and make sure both ends are matching perfectly and it is centered. Next, taking my image, which is already completed and I tore off the edges and some heat resistant tape. I'm just gonna flip my image over and place there in the center. Make sure your sides are about the same. And then I like to pull the shirt from the bottom just to kind of give myself a visual. I'm gonna just lower it just a tad bit, not too much. Make sure it is centered there. Both sides are perfect. Now I'm going to grab it some heat resistant tape and just really apply on those edges lightly. Just to make sure your image stays down. I'm going to go ahead and move that. And let's just do one up here. All right, so now it is ready, done and complete. Let's go ahead and take it over to the heat press and then we'll apply our butcher paper there. So now that your heat press is done, it is already at 400 degrees. Remember, we're gonna set it at 60 seconds. Mine is a swing away, so it's a little different, but this is a 12 by 15 heat press. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my shirt on my heat press. Everything's already intact, ready to go. I'm just gonna make sure everything is spread out and then apply a piece of that butcher paper to the inside of my shirt just because I don't want any bleeding to go through the back. Then I'm just gonna make sure it is covering enough, which it seems to be doing the trick. Just gonna kind of get all the wrinkles out of there. That's very important, especially for these dry fit t-shirts, they can move on you. And then just apply another piece of butcher paper. Now my pressure is at a medium pressure for this. I will say it's not like crazy, crazy but also just enough pressure to make sure the image transfers over. So now we're gonna go ahead and press down. And now that it is done, we're gonna go ahead and lift and see our grand reveal. So um, I will say real quick that you can barely see some of the bleed. So the paper does, you know, bleed a little bit through, but that is why the bunch of paper is here. Um, there you can see barely what came through it. Um, this is just a really great way of protecting your heat press, basically. And, oh my gosh, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Okay, I'm just going to be careful. It is hot, so just be very, very careful when lifting off. But you will see how beautiful, how vibrant this paper is. How it leaves everything so, so seamlessly. Everything looks really good. So this is the outcome of the paper. You guys can see it did a very good job at releasing the ink. I have tested another paper in the past and the ink release was not as good. So because you do see that it is mainly off, that means it did a really, really good job. I freaking love this paper, you guys. And let's go ahead and take off the insert from the inside, which is that piece of butcher paper. This one didn't really have a lot of transfer go through it, but it's always good to be safe. Okay, let's go ahead and move you guys over so you guys can see the final results of this. All right, so are you guys ready to see the outcome of how well this shirt performed with Asa paper? I am so ready to show you guys. This is honestly freaking amazing. Love the quality. So here is the t-shirt and as you can see up close and personal that it doesn't really show too harsh around the edges. Just by using that little tip, look how cool this looks. This is how a sublimated image looks like. 
you don't feel any difference honestly you feel nothing it's not like vinyl it's not like anything else so sublimation is great when you are using full polyester t-shirts um and specifically the lighter colors of course they can show through look how cool you can stretch it won't crack fade nothing like it's on there forever and ever let me know what you guys think down below also don't forget to use that discount code straight off of their website to save 12 percent off using my code this paper is amazing you guys so that is it for today's video amigas and amigos thank you guys for joining me today um don't forget to subscribe comment and like and share this video if you guys would be so kind um nothing less than what i expected for asub i truly love them i've been using them for over some months now and truly truly just love the performance of that paper so if you guys have any other suggestions for my future videos make sure you guys leave all of that down in the comments down below and i will catch you guys next time bye